Monaco had the chance to make it six league wins on the bounce when they entertained Clermont at the Stade Louis II in the weekend's penultimate match. The hosts hadn't fared quite so well in Europe though, suffering a surprise 4-0 thrashing at the hands of the on Sport in the Europa League on Thursday. An instant response, which can see them climb into the top four of the table, have been most welcome. Clermont had ambitions of their own. Still riding high in the top half after ten games and on a run of back-to-back -back victories. Pascal Gastien watching on. And he'll very quickly see his team end up with a numerical advantage. Mohamed Kamara bringing down Saif Eddin Kawi. The Tunisia international attempted to make a burst forward. And himself a straight red. Whether intentional or not, cynical or not, the referee deeming it dangerous enough to earn a dismissal. Philippe Clement opted to withdraw both Wissam Renniera and Takumi Minamino, leaving Breland Bolo up front on his own. Nonetheless, the lone striker earned a penalty not long after. Holding up the ball well and then drawing the foul. He was also the man to take the penalty. Mori Dior saved the initial penalty. The ball bounced back to Mbolo and kept his head to poke home his third goal in his many league games. Well read by the keeper, but not able to get back up quickly enough once the rebound had fallen to the striker. Then one then trying to make their extra man count, somehow failing to score from four attempts in quick succession. First break on Kaye closed down, then Mohamed Cham hitting the post on the rebound, Kayo Enrique denying Kawi on the line, and finally Alvisan Rashani's shot held by Alexander Nubel. It actually proved to be a crucial touch from the keeper, which had denied Cham. So Monaco just about hang on to half-time lead. They'd won 67% of their previous league meetings with Clermont, no side to face them more than five times as a higher ratio. And their backs were set to be up against the wall with another 45 minutes to play a man light. And Le Lanciere would make their 11th man count eight minutes into the second half. Carries effort saved by Nubel, but Komnen Andrich able to convert the rebound. Three goals now for the Serbian since his summer move from Dinamo Zagreb. Right place at the right time. No mistake in the finish. Monaco weren't done, the ball won on the halfway line and Ishmael Jacobs forcing a fingertip save from Dior. Well placed on the edge of the area, not quite the power to beat the keeper. That would prove to be the final chance of note, with teams perhaps happy enough with a draw under the circumstances. A result that does see Monaco drop out of the top five though.